Okay, remember to save your work on every state. So let's go right here. We go to rename this. Let's go name um so I know displacement rock. So right here, this one I'll go name um cover. And just under this, let's create new layer. I'm going to switch to natural grain. And we're going to create kind of like moss type looking. Just a little bit right there on top. Okay, maybe pop up roughness so we'll see a little bit grain. Um, and now when you go inside the presence tab, and because you see it's covered everything, I don't necessarily want this. Okay, bump map, let's go this one to add. So I don't want to replace my displacement. I just want to add. I don't want those smoothness stuff. Okay, and presence, I want to bring this slope range. So I want to go maybe on a flat little bit more. Okay, and I want to come bring on the top. Notice as we're going, this is set world standard, world standard, and this is object parametric. So keep in mind that when we start mapping, it is related to um, this whatever layer you selected. So if I want coloring set of just for the rocks, I want set object parametric. So on this way, whatever presence I'm working, it's by the object. So I know how it will go here. So I'll go bring a little bit more to the top. Smoothness, apply a little bit smooth on the side. And maybe bring right here closer. So I just want to remove some of this on the sides effect. Let me bring closer, see how it's look. And let's go render preview, see what we have at this point. Look, I can see I maybe too much cut off green, so I maybe need to bring back some of this effect right here. Just for those materials. Okay, let's go do right there. Okay, we'll go to moss. Let's go to presence. We'll bring this down. More up. So you can see it's already kind of start making this greenish look. Okay, um, we can also, if you want it, we can add more bump map to this. And uh, for this one, I will just open and create a simple noise. And we'll go 0 0.2, very, very small. So, but just it's add this kind of grainy look to that, some elements. And again, because we did not replace, we have it add. So it will add to what underlay after this. Okay, this is, um, I think will work for now. Next, we need to take our sun. This is our island. And I want to just bring just slightly behind maybe on a side so we'll have it glowing like around this area okay well, let's bring a little bit lower so we'll start having this sunset kind of look and next i want to add palms so we go to the plant trees and see if we can find some palms and right here we have several different beautiful looking palms coconut all this palms and again some of them maybe won't be accurate to this area but you know i just like how they look so we'll just put them there let's go take this palm move it and this palm is a little bit too tall for me so we're kind of hiding away so we can have a trick, we can put it just behind, like right there. And also, you know what, let's go to double time click. For this one, you actually want plant editor if you want to do this. But with this, we can also just create and make it palm a little bit drop down. So we kind of creating change a little bit shape. Of this palm, okay, right there. And 
does not really affect on this one. That's okay, we'll play it a little bit more. So we'll adjust this way. Okay, let's go right here. And we'll just bend slightly. So I just want to keep this in shot a little bit palm, but create this effect. Okay, let's go select maybe different palm. Again, we can play around with the, all of this. So we can take, oh, I don't want to increase, but I want to just drag, bring up and place it right around there. Just have it a little bit more greenish. Again, I'm not, and I'm looking for the color and it's too green. So it's kind of off. I will probably just delete it for now. Let's see what other plants we have there. Trees. Use this one. We can use it. Yeah, that one is look also. And the next Mexican palm look very um, green. So we can bring this one down. Okay, bring on the side. Maybe right here. Again, it's not necessary. We'll grow this way, but I just like how they look around that area. And you can play around. This is up to your art's um, vision, whatever you like to do. So just put a few of them. Maybe just even scale. smaller and bring a little bit down so we have it kind of overlay there you go little bit angle I'm not necessarily like the straight lines and in combination we can create this hanging on an island type. I don't like this area empty. So to fix this, we're actually going to put it. Um, just let's go take alert this yellow and we'll just have it this kind of bush hang on a side. And we'll same we'll go to rotate and you notice I'm rotating towards the camera. So I found this actual work a very nice kind of like almost trick. So if we put it right here, we'll put it closer right around there. So from position of our camera, it will look almost like it's a bush growing on a side. Again, when you're creating in animations, it will be a little bit harder because with animations, you kind of need to look from an angle. But when we have a still image, we have it a little bit advantage because we can show to the people only what we want them to see. So, okay, for now it's done there. Let's go to atmosphere editor and work a little bit here. I'm going to preload clouds and we'll go to select big cameras for this. Let's go take our opacity 100% and density down. So again, I will create this slightly whisper clouds, just something back we'll add more to ambient light let's go to altitude variation to 100 percent pop up a little bit on details because they're very low and take feather and clear bit down so you can see we have a kind of nice um whispery clouds right there in a second will be okay also we own a standard spectral um, coloring mode we can switch to photometric if you prefer that way it will give it a little bit more natural look to our um, atmosphere right here and let's go next sky fog we'll just take foreground density increasing and aerial perspective as well pop up it's give it more of this water haze almost morning kind of look Let's reduce a little bit haze, clean up. Okay, we'll go 
Okay, on this one we'll take sunlight and bring it it's even a little bit more down. Which bring it down will give it us more yellowish sunset look and that's what I'm trying to kind of create this nice pastel colors with rendering. Okay, I think we're at the point can go and render and see what is our view so far. Okay, so right here we have our render image. Um, it is nice to preview, however, let's look what is good and bad. It's well, usually it's what I do after render, I preview one, it's almost white sky. So I want to reduce haze, probably make it a bit clearer. Um, also, I do like, you see these bushes right there? It's look low, almost like crawling rocks going around. As well, um, this is good. That one is need adjust. The water, I'm not necessarily like how it's going. So we'll adjust water, sky, and leave the other stuff there. So let's go first to the sea. Okay. We'll select right here. We're going to the material, default ballot water select on this and actually I want to take this and put it to about 0 0.6 so it's make very calm water so it won't be very rough so I want to do this as well we go in transparency and let's switch to a little bit more shorter water so it's make darker deeper bluer color so this is will give it a little bit more attention to this water level Okay, so that we kind of resolve with water. Let's go to the atmosphere editor. And atmosphere editor, I want to take maybe fog reducing, reducing haze on this. Okay, a little bit less. And we'll also take aerial perspective and same, take it down. So we'll have it a little bit more open on a blue sky. In the lights, we don't have that much control because we're using photometric. However, if you want a little bit more um, contrast, dark and light, you always can switch to the standard, which is bring just a little bit more. Um, let's go switch this one. It's give it more saturated colors. So in this case, we have a little bit more adjustments. We can go to ambient light, which is bring us warmer kind of adjustment to this area and we always can move a little bit more to sunlight creating those deeper shadows and a little bit more glowing around right here and let's check again on the clouds dude so clouds look good we have covered you know what maybe just use a little bit cover just slightly so we have a little bit more look on those blue skies okay right here it's look good haze wow haze was a little bit too high okay let's go click ok be sure we'll save our work and another render right now so we can preview how's our environment come up okay so as it rendering sky a little bit cleaner water it's much better however let's reduce some of the clouds have it still too much of them okay and as well rocks i think a little bit too bright so how say it's always going this way oh, one thing i forgot to do and that's what i like i like to disable after exposure because it does adjust camera but it does not necessarily give me look that i'm going because i like like right here you see how it's different and after exposure does affect quite a bit so it's mess up a little bit with the um, what I'm going after so I actually recommend you to turn it off after exposure and um, kind of work without this okay so right here our Sun because it's off we have it yellow okay that is much better now looking okay meta blob will open material let's go to edit these materials a little bit more okay we'll go to just double time click to edit material editor and remember always save your work just you never know um, when you need to revert or do other things so you can just click and save it okay on displacement rock color remember we create one but we still have it access from here so I'm going to actually overall we'll go modify this um, 
and we'll just go a little bit darker just to make these rocks just a little bit not so bright I think this will a little bit look better okay we're also most cover let's go presence and bring a little bit more on this coloring okay and on the cover density bring a little bit more again on the density and then what let's add some maybe bigger plants to this as well so i'm just looking on what we have here and we do have some more palms coconut trees so we can actually add this one okay and we can add some fern and i think this will be in our bushes yep can here so let's add that one we'll click populate and you can see it will change quite a bit so it will create way more plants going so i want to create like almost green stuff maybe too much of the green i think this one is messing up with us okay let's go click populate some of this too big too large if if that is happening we can always go scale and just take scale slightly down okay let's click populate one more time there you go it's look better but again i want this kind of large i want just all over kind of almost place too much of the green going on there that is kind of going after okay i think we're all good so let's save one more time and make our final render and see um what is our final product will be Okay, so here's our render completed and you can see it took about eight minutes and i like it's much better so we have it more saturated colors sky we can see the sky and the clouds the ocean a little bit more whispery and right here we have nice plants kind of almost going over our terrain again in this tutorial we was looking how to create a custom rocks how to bake them create all these displacements so you can create very interesting unique shapes of the island rocks or other formations and we also look on some um, material placement texturing so i hope you're enjoying these tutorials and please let us know if you have any suggestions for different tutorials or some other ideas